McKenzie Jr. And I tell you, we got an awesome show. We got an awesome show for you guys. We got an awesome exclusive artist interview. And uh, man, we got an awesome inspirational word which goes with our interview. You go, man, I'm telling you, we got we have a great one hour show. And I'm, I want to, first of all, give honor and glory to God, who's the head of my life, and will always be the head of my life. And then, also, I want to uh, give thanks to all those that are syndicating my show, uh, especially my, my family over there, Right Now Praise Radio and Sky Thunder Radio. And uh, all the other radio stations, uh, that's going to be uh, taking it and bringing it in. Thank you guys in advance. Uh, but look, y'all, the work for the kingdom mm, is a, it's a awesome job. I love it. I love it. I live for it. You know, uh, I live for pleasing Christ. No matter what this body goes through. Can't nobody tell me different. Can't nobody. Look, my mind is made up. And I'm on my way up when my time comes. So for those who wondered, there you go. <laughs> Look, y'all, we got a new song coming up next by Miss Martha Manuzzi. And I, I like it. I kind of like the, I, I, you know, I like it. Is 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 you know Martha be doing her thing you know she she knows the right musicians to pick and she knows the right songstress to get to back her up. And I ain't saying that just to be saying that y'all know y'all know what's up y'all know the real with Martha. Martha is very anointed. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you, she's been in in the industry for a while. It has blessed many a souls through her ministry, including mine. So um, I want to uh, play some of her, one of her latest albums out. Actually, one of her latest, not albums, but one of her latest singles out. Just hot off the press, y'all. And I got it, I got it. But um, um, I'm going to be playing that right now. Then we're going to come back with a scripture and um, words from our sponsors right after this song. So let's go. Come on, Martha. This is going to require y'all to dance a little bit. Hey! 
finish out this night with some marching and some stepping. And I'm declaring tonight that by faith you are stepping out of an old season and into a new season. So you just need to take that step. Just a step. You just got to step into the season that God has. That's right, OT. That's right. OT, got it. You got to step. This is what David was doing. When they made fun of him, and David was just dancing because he was celebrating the goodness of his God. So if you believe that you got the victory tonight and you're stepping into a new season where God is fighting for you, I want to see you pick up your feet. Get those knees up. Come on. Walking in victory. I'm walking in victory. I'm walking in victory. I'm walking in victory. Come on, come on now, y'all. Come on. As we walk, how many of you know our steps are ordered by the Lord? Your step, my step is ordered by the Lord. We can walk in victory all day long, but our steps are still ordered by the Lord. Let's keep that flow going. I'm going to take y'all back.
my steps in your word, Lord. Man, that song still, that song still reaches my spirit, man. I still, I still feel the anointing from the singers that is, sings that song. How many of you ever heard a song and it describes you to a T? And it, the song is going out to millions of people, millions of people. Uh, it, but it describes you. You are you're like that person singing that song to me. Although they're singing it to millions and millions of people, that's God using that person, using that songwriter, anointing that songwriter to get your spirit. In check, as I like to say. Uh, isn't that such an amazing, that's so amazing. It is amazing how God works in our lives. You know, I have, I, I, I want to uh, uh, ask everyone. Uh, two years ago, I got nominated and won a podcaster of the year by the grace of God. And um, this year... Somebody nominated me again, and um, I want to I want to uh, get your votes. I, I want to, to encourage you to vote for me as many times as you can. We got to August fifth for me to do it again, and I can do it with your help. All you have to do is go to www.thespinawards.com slash vote. And vote for me. I, I, I'm listed in, in one category uh, this time, and that's pod, for podcaster of the year with uh, uh, what's my show for my show, the by, Dr. Byron DeHernan Radio Show. And uh, I want you to vote as many times as you can for my friends, my families, uh, Dr. Carol and Dr. Gerald Irvin of Right Now Praise Radio. They're in about 50 million categories, y'all. They got about six categories. And if you want to see the categories, if you want to uh, attend the Spin Awards, which will be in Atlanta again, and this is, the, I believe, the fifth annual Spin Awards uh, hosted by, got a great host, actually, uh, uh, um, Minister Appointed. This is something that Minister Appointed does every um, year. And we want to give uh, thank her for uh, for what doing what she do, and thank all those who are spinning, you guys, you artists, because I tell you, uh, it works hand in hand. Without artists, it wouldn't be no radio station. Without no radio station, it wouldn't couldn't be no artists getting their music heard. So uh, we work hand in hand, and also I want to. Uh, Actually, guys, you can get my book. Uh, last time I didn't write, I have a book out, but now I got a, a book out telling a uh, uh, valuable one, a, por a portion of my life story. And um, it's been going pretty good. It's been going pretty good. It's part of my ministry. If you want to be a blessing to my ministry, if you want a signed copy, you can uh, cash at me. $25.99 or $25 is fine at uh, dollar sign Byron Herndon. Leave me your correct address and your phone number and I will put in the mail. You have to pay uh, uh, shipping and handling, of course, and I'll let you know what that will be once I talk to you and after I get your money and stuff, but you may have to send some more. Or if you want to... Uh, Get it without my signature. You can go to Amazon. Amazon is selling it for fifteen ninety nine, and um, you, we also have Kindle. The Kindle is nine ninety nine. Of course, I have them both. Uh, of course, uh, I love. I, you know, I'm starting to love the Kindle. I have a Kindle account uh, to where I, I, I. Well, it's not a Kindle account, but it's a one of those uh, where you can hear the person reads to you. Because my vision, you know, I don't have the best vision in the world, but I can see. But uh, I like that that thing that they come out with to where it, it it reads to you. You can hear it, and it reads to you. So I think that's pretty cool. 
It helps me a lot with uh, my my word. It helps me a lot with uh, books that you know that has turned into movies. And now I can read the the backstory when I read that book of movies that I like. So that helps a lot. So uh, now tonight, coming up in a few minutes, we got a great exclusive interview. Uh, with uh, Scott Trumblefield. Uh, I talk, got a chance to talk to him about his new single, uh, Trust, Trust the Process. I tell you, it's, all, it's man, you're going to be blessed. You're going to be blessed. I guarantee it, you're going to be blessed behind it. We had fun. We had fun uh, in, our, in our conversation, as, I, as those who know me will know what I call it. But in the meantime... To, on my next show, I'll be having uh, this guy that sings this song called Amazing. I'm going to play that, and then I'm going to play an inspirational word uh, with uh, T.D. Jakes and um, some other ones, and hoping that you will be blessed. So here we go, the song Amazing, right now.
right, folks, we're running out of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the interview. And then if there's any time left after that, I'll put the the inspirational word on. And then if not, we will add it to our next our next uh, show. But here is the exclusive artist interview with Mr. Troublefield. So here we go. Hope you guys enjoy it and be blessed. Don't forget to get his music. Bam. And recording. All right, everybody. All right. Praise the Lord, everybody. I got my, my man with me. Uh, it's Mr. Scott. Uh, uh, introduce yourself, man. Introduce yourself to my audience. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hi, this is Scott Troublefield. I name you all forget Troublefield. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'm from Brooklyn, New York, and uh, I'm just here to, um, to celebrate my, my new single that's come out this year called Trust the Process. All right. What's going on? All right. So, uh, now, uh, let me know, let my, uh, my listeners know, let them know, man, what, what is the back story behind that song? So, um, uh, more than 10 years ago, um, my mother and I, we fell upon a situation where, um, basically my mother had gotten real sick and I was working like basically a minimum wage job and we basically, um, fell behind our bills and we became homeless. So that, that situation was, um, um, my mother in the living, the same with, you know, a friend or a church member and I basically was living on my own because the church member didn't live in one. They couldn't take both of us in. Right. So at that time, I was basically, um, on the train, riding back and forth. I lost all my clothes, lost all my stuff. And uh, I was just basically staying home, you know, at friends' houses, uh, family houses, homes, or whatever. But for the most part, I was just, you know, out in the streets just trying to, you know, survive. And um, there was one night where I just really, really got to my, you know, my wit's end, and I just wanted to give up. And I really contemplated um, committing suicide. I was uh, walking that night on my way between the Bronx and Mount Vernon in New York. And I went, I really thought about just giving up. And when I was walking, I heard a boy say, trust the process. Yes. And I didn't understand what it meant then. I didn't really, you know, I just, you know, kept walking and made it, you know, toward my destination. And then I went to a service, like, months later, and the preacher said, um, you are the healing bomb for someone else. And it started right. to call with me. And ever since then, I, I put it put into words. You know, I was going. I write. I think like I write songs when I go, when I go through things. Right. And right. I, I wrote the, the lyrics are. At the time, I had started my choir, and we um, were going through some issues then, and it was just so much going on. You know how you go through trials, it's like everything happens at one time. Right. Right. So right. Right. I was dealing with I was dealing with being homeless and having enough clothes. Um, my quiet, I had to put my quiet on high end for a while, and I was like, God, I just don't understand, and the lyrics of my song, um, the lyrics are, you know, you wonder if you made the right choice, you wonder if you're on the right course, hmm. did you hear his voice, and then you hear that still small voice, trust the process, hmm. because you are the hidden bomb for someone else, and I learned that all that I've been through, and what I went through, and what I continue to go through at times, is for me to be a testimony to someone else, what I've gone through. Because the Bible says we overcome by the word of our testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. Right, right. So that process taught me so much. And now when I talk to different people, um, I tell them my testimony and I encourage others because now I'm the healing bomb for someone else. Amen, yeah. amen. You know, and, and um, I was thinking about what you said uh, a few seconds ago when you were saying, uh, Lord, what's going to happen next? You know, uh, a, friend of, a friend of mine wrote a sermon, just did a sermon a couple of weeks ago. Uh, what's next? You know, and I'm like, oh, wow, wow. And, and matter of fact, I think even in that sermon, he even talked about a process. Because <laughs> it, it, life is. Life is full of processes. It's full of processes. 
Yeah, it was for this interview. I was just dealing with people just call me the phone, and I was dealing with so much with my choir, musicians, and I was getting stressed out for that. And actually, I like had to take a break and just let you know let the tears roll down, and then I reminded the song that I wrote. I have to trust this process. You That's know, right. I didn't understand what's going on and why it's going on, why it's like things are all happening at once. But I had to encourage myself and say, you know what, Scott, you got to trust what God is doing. Mm. So yeah. Yeah, you know, and 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 it's, and it's it's, it's cool. We're gonna listen to the song in just a few seconds, and then we're gonna get back and let you talk some more on it. Um, but I, I'm telling you because it's it's like even when you get saved, you know, when you get when a person freshly gets saved and turn their life over to Christ, there's still, there's a process that you have to go through to stay saved. You know what I'm saying? Right. There's a process that. You have to go through uh, uh, with your finances. You know, there's a process you have to go through to keep uh, clothes on your back, food yeah. on your table. You know, uh, it's, uh, there's a process and everything. So, so, process, right. so, brother, your song that you wrote, this this song, it's in the right season. Mm -hmm. in, in, you know, and and the, you wrote it uh, with ten years ago. It, 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 it's still brand new because it hasn't been aired yet, really. Right, right. So it, 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 you may have wrote it down on paper ten years ago, but look at God. God said a decade, uh, almost a decade later, it's time for that process to start it's helping people. Right. You know, and and watch. I mean, oh, you, you. I, I'm just little, little. But you wait till God really start blessing you in your ministry. He got more for you. He got more for you to do than just write songs. I, I receive that. I do receive that. Uh, uh, your pastor. It's funny because it's funny because. Just when we when I first presented the song for the choir, um, I was having issues with just the music and how it how it should flow. And it all we performed the song like two, uh, before the pandemic at a, uh, at a concert that I did, and it almost didn't make the concert. It almost the song almost didn't make it at all. Almost was like I just almost said forget it. We'll just do something else. And it's just funny how my choir my choir just pushed me do the song and then we also recorded it and it's just been blessed and people just it have been coming to me just being blessed by the, the lyrics and the song mm -hmm. so I thank God he knows best oh yeah God no, he has he, he knows the plan the plan that he has for our lives man and he has a, a great plan for your life don't be surprised your pastor's talking about look come up in this pulpit man <laughs> uh, <laughs> just be ready <laughs> You gotta get through the process first. <laughs> 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 Look, let's let's listen to this song real quick, guys. Uh, my, my listeners, I want you guys to check this song out. And man, I tell you, uh, this this brother, Lord really uh, used this brother on this. And you can you can tell. Listen to the words fully on this song, listeners. And then, uh, uh, then he's going to tell you how you can get it and where you can get it, bro, right after this. Yes, sir. You wonder if you made the right choice. You wonder if you're on the right course. Did you? Yes. 
Social media at? Uh, my social media, um, you can find me on Facebook, Scott Strumblefield. I mean, it's the name that you won't forget. <laughs> um, you, can find me on Insta- you can find me on Instagram, Scott um, Strumblefield. Uh, my, my choir has a uh, page, um, New Vision. I think it's um, FT underscore New Vision. But anything, you type in Scott Strumblefield, more than likely, you'll, you'll find me very easily. Okay. Did you, now, the new vision, the yeah. new vision, sing with somebody else. Sorry, sorry again. Did new vision sing with somebody else? Mm, do we do we sing with someone else? Hey, uh, well, there's a song called uh, uh, "Healing," uh, something about healing, and I thought it, maybe it was something uh, another name, but I thought it was done by a group called uh, New Vision, but maybe not. It's hard for us. We've got some sort of new business. This is my, my little group. <laughs> okay, little man. We're gonna have to have all. We're gonna have to have all y'all on there. We're gonna have, to have all you all all you guys back on here. Whenever you ready, you can take ten of two. You come and join. <laughs> nah, I might I might scare the dog away. <laughs> nah, <laughs> you might want a dog to come up to the church and get saved, like bow wow wow if you're bow. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but now, now my daughter. Now that's a different story. <laughs> now I, now I will, I will throw some keys at you. Now I'm, I'm, I'm more of the, the organ and keyboard player. So okay. I, yeah, I was brought up and raised in Church of God in Christ. You know how that goes. Come on, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, but you know, it's been a while. First of all, Lord Jesus Christ is the apostolic faith of the uh, the late great Bishop Barner. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it was funny because my wife, me and my wife both, uh, uh, we went went to apostolic for for a while to help uh, uh, to help a pastor out, 
And um, oh, wow. oh yeah, you know, yeah, that's what I that's what I did back in my day, you know, back in the youth, <laughs> day of my youth. <laughs> but um, the Lord, you know, He's blessed me to move on to bigger and, and better things and greater things in the ministry. You know, you trust the process. Got trust the process, man. Exactly. You know, even when the devil said, "Think he gonna take you out," you gotta trust God's process and look say, and, and bind them. <laughs> okay. So you said they can find you on Facebook as uh, Scott Troublefield, and uh, you can find on Facebook you can find the song on iTunes. Okay. And, uh, all the different uh, out, uh, digital outlets. So it's sold on all the different digital outlets. Exactly. So please find me, please, please. Yeah, please. You guys, look, I, I, I'm, I'm going to break it down. I, and I do it with all the artists, man. I break it down. It costs money, y'all, to go in the studio, yes, sir. spend all that time in the studio. You better get it right the first time because if not, you spend the more money. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with the people, man. I'll be real with them. It costs it costs money to uh, to wrap to get the wrapping paper to wrap the CDs in. Although everybody's going digital, that still costs money. Yeah. So I mean, it costs it costs it costs money thousands and thousands upon dollars. So. For those of us who are, um, um, independent, mm-hmm. yeah. and, and that's what I try to do, man. I try to help. It. I, I try to uh, uh, do what I can with with my services, you. you know. And and um, you know, uh, Trevon, you know, uh, that that's my that's my nephew. But that's my nephew, you know. And, uh, yeah, he, he, yeah. Uh, I, I trained him good enough. <laughs> that's all about it. He probably gonna hear this. Say what? <laughs> but now nah, he, 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 he's he's man is crazy with a K, not a C. <laughs> a good a good crazy. And the brother, you know, I'm like man. He been bringing me some good ones, and he and he just kept doing it when he brought you over here. So uh, I want to put your song. I want to put this song on my rotation because we do have four stations. Uh-huh. Thank we have you. four radio stations, and then I have one radio station that I said that's BDS, and that's uh, that's another process, <laughs> of course. And then, um, of course, I'll add your song to my uh, radio sh- my radio show for at least a month, uh, and I do a show each week. Okay. So, so it'll get out that way. I'm currently on on. Uh, Wow! Right now, I'm on five, maybe five or six different syndicated stations, including uh, iHeart Radio. Oh, okay. and, and um, um, I used to be, I used to carry my show. I used to have my show on over. Wow, on over what was it? I had it on over sixty something stations at one time, and then the, it started getting overwhelming. So I had to break it down a little bit. And now these stations are I'm back at, earn I'm back on the thing, and and they um they're starting to ask for the show again. <laughs> so, but um yeah, your song can get out there. I will make sure it get out there on my end, and uh, I appreciate your time. Now, what's the name? Of, uh, 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 tell the people what's the church that you. Uh, so if they come to New York and they want to, where can they? What church can they find you at? Uh, well, they can find me at two churches. <laughs> That's okay. Go ahead and put up them both. Uh, my pastor is uh, Pastor Courtney Bradley, um, Remnant International, um, and um, Pastor Daquan Williamson, uh, Mount Sinai Baptist Church, and that address is 241 Cates Avenue. Um, right now, with Pastor Courtney Bradley, you can find him also always on social media. We can find both churches on social media, but uh, right now, um, Pastor Bradley, we um, we're just doing virtual right now. But mm-hmm. um, now, not that we are having we have a church you know, on in, you know, inside the sanctuary. So that's two forty one Gates Avenue in Brooklyn. They both churches are in Brooklyn, New York. Um, you so know. They're both up on social mm-hmm. media. Pastor Courtney Bradley and Pastor Daquan Williamson, and um, you'll see me directing at 
Don't find out that too. I'm talking about half the pastor, Pastor Bradley, of that make a preach. Man, I make a preach. Wow. Now, you got my cell number so this is, that you're talking to me on, so lock it in your phone, man. Give me a call anytime, man. Oh, you know, give I'm, me, real. I'm, a, I'm a big um, caller, texter. I'll check the phone, people make sure they're all right. That's me. Okay, yeah, I do the same. I th- you can text me, give me a call. You know, just don't call me at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but, but, you know, let's just go emergency, emergency now. <laughs> but call you, and if it is, call your pastors first. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. But, yeah, man, it's good. Connect with me anytime, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you've been listening to an exclusive artist interview. Yeah, with Mr. Scott Troublefield. Exclusive artist interview. So look, keep it, keep it back here, you guys, for more more uh, exclusive artist interview and uh, different things that's going on. Like.